we have a bunch of cauldrons and we have a composters and we have a check and a flip for empty that's our output this machine is massive and this is needlessly lengthened I don't even know why that is a thing regardless here we are we let's say we want to enter the combination one whatever three whatever if we put in check it won't just work our output won't turn on and now we have these cauldrons what do we do with them well we turn it back on and now if we hit the reset switch we can watch slowly as the cauldrons fill up to the brim we can flick off the refill switch and hit on the check again we can just harvest it back and now we have fully refilled cauldrons refill won't do anything if there is nothing in the cauldron that works perfectly well and if we input the code one two one two three one two three four and check it works a Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing something that I don't usually ever do actually, except on Lawcraft and Skywars, and actually pretty much everywhere, except for a few places. Anyway, we're in the world where I built a selector and combination lock, and now I want to build another combination lock. Combo, combo late, combination lock. It's funny how I said it the first time, I know I got it maybe right, but I want to try to mimic it. Regardless, today we're going to be trying to do a compost bin combination lock. Mumbo Jumbo made a very cool design, and of course he had a rotating lock, and we are not going to copy him. Instead, what I plan on doing is the following. We're going to have four compost bins placed like so, and this has to be higher. Okay, so the goal of this is to get the correct combination. Obviously, we're going to be using pumpkin pie, because it is the uh, most logical option and here's what we're gonna do so I'm not really sure 100% how I want to do this but there are some things that I know will have to be done number one the way we're gonna take comparator outputs through this thing so I'm deciding to take out block outputs like so I think this should not serve to be too much of an issue so far we are doing okay and now the next thing I want to do is have a way to retract the item. Now, our Mumbo Jumbo faced the same issue in the sense that his piston, if I, if I were to retract these down, the piston would be where the hopper goes, if that means anything. So like if I put a piston here to retract it and I get a hopper to take, so to take items out of it, it wouldn't work because the piston is in the way. So, now I'm struggling on to think of what to do, and I have no idea. Let's think about this a bit. Now, off the top of my head, I can think of much, way more elegant solutions to this problem. Some of those being, like, putting the hopper in different places than the piston, and all around think of creative methods, but... We're gonna go with this very ugly big one because it's the simplest slime blocks. Now, does this work? Yes, it does. Okay, this should be good. Now, does this drag? It does not. I have run into an issue again. If these get dragged back, they can only be if if I put a block here for comparator output, it won't be able to be dragged backwards, which is a problem. And similarly, if I put it like this, it will only be able to things only be able to get things when it's dragged back, which is also a problem. Okay, that was a relatively easy fix. All we got to do was put a torch, and now when we want to move the piston, the compost bins over, all we have to do is the comparators will be obviously here and here on either side, on, the, on behind the hoppers at least. And now, they, when they can be retracted, we'll get an output, so I can just detail the ceiling a bit. I watched Mumbo Jumbo's video, the way he emptied his things was 
interesting because what he did was it relies on the fact that you can actually sense the compost bin which obviously is going to be impossible for us like with a comparator and then it will know when to turn off it'll give a redstone output to fill it up yeah that we won't work so nicely with us because we rely on being the carry this output you know what let's actually build it first experiment with it and then we'll decide if you want to keep because oh we ran into a bit of a problem the redstone torches wait what oh, oh, oh okay we're bud powering I don't know how I can get around the bud powering now because whatever I do this will continuously fill up I do not like the colors now <laughs> they're so ugly but what I want to do is if I actually take block output of comparators now and I believe this is a useless to me mm, I think that would have nothing on it if we put the comparator here and this can be quartz because I like the neutral color if we put that here and now we put the redstone torch like that it should still be able to sense it technically and just like that lock the hopper so if we grab this and put it in here and this piston is oblivious okay good that's very good we found something okay so we're gonna have two things a button because I don't like levers a button that checks and a button that resets so we're gonna label them because I am uh, gonna forget and let's use some of the new signs so they're both gonna retract everything so that will activate all these pistons which should be relatively easy to access let's grab a new concrete color of a green okay all is swell now it's time for the actual combination lock part now that is this is gonna be the retraction system and so the checker will make it blue because I like the blue concrete color I like blue of course and we're gonna try to get the comparator output and the comparator outputs of these if I are if I'm correct go through here this purple stuff right there is the comparator output so the comparator output will be here 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 and here and that should be right out lined up with a comparator okay this is a very nice system so one that was uh, interesting I oh of course it's turned off because this one gives out a one that one pulls them in I feel like I'm breaking something but the, the it's just the redstone torch is powering the dispenser I believe if I just maybe it's the redstone dust oh no of course it's the comparator <laughs> what was I thinking the comparator is obviously powering the block where the dropper is so of course it's gonna be doing that how do we get around that it should be easy with these two I can put the observer on the side but for this one I mean, I guess I could put the observer on the bottom. It won't be super convenient, but it's good for now. So, if I just don't want to put a sign there, put one like here. Okay, so it's one, two, three, and four. Here are redstone lines. Let's get started with the combo. Now that I'm actually thinking about it, if I, it'll only give me a one. If I put one here, it'll give me a two, three. Oh, no, 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 this is uh, functional. I was uh, about to say, I need to be able to get to the comparator to actually do the subtract mode thing. But, apparently, this is just fine. So if I just put a comparator here, that's four. Okay, we should be good if I just put comparators all along this line and we should be swell now how am I gonna do this without running into each other 
I, I do want to make this tileable. That's why I'm struggling to have it work. I think before I should work before I work on any of this mechanics, I should work on the observer. You know, if there's nothing on this, oh, I can put this right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should, in theory, hear me out. I should be able, and this is the green circuit, so I should be able to have the observers underneath. It will kind of ruin our perfectness, though. That's the only reason I don't want to do it, because it might ruin how everything is slightly above ground level. That's the only reason I'm considering not doing it. What can an observer pick up again? Campfires. <laughs> uh. Oh! My god, I got the best idea ever. Okay, 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 hear me out. So, <laughs> that's like the most amazing thing ever. Leaves. I was gonna do a video, I have one scheduled for next Text Tuesday. We Redstone contraptions made of weird things. So, and by weird things, I obviously mean, yes! So this is a thing. I, 100% honest, did not know this was a thing. Okay, this whole thing is much more complicated than it really should be, and I'm gonna fix that right now. We run into another issue. I can't turn this torch off without turning this piston on. I'm trying to clear my mind, because this does not make any sense to me. All right. What do we need to do with the check button? When the check button is on, what do we want to happen? We want to happen the... Well, first, everything has to be turned on. These pistons to fire, making this thing whole retract. Okay. Okay, I had 9 11 o'clock. I didn't want to mention this, but I feel like I have to. If we put a composter, or a composter... <laughs> on any one of these and do it we're fine we remove it it's still on like what okay I hate snapshot bugs officially we're gonna have to install a bit of a system that updates the comparators and pretty much tells them, hey, you're not supposed to be powered. So if we turn this on, everything is retracted and everything is on. Now, what I want to do, now that, it's, now that it's all hooked up, if we decide to turn this off, it's still on. Why? Okay, we have a bit of modifications. I have delay. And now, on. Uh, thing turns on, by the way. That works. And now, off. <laughs> yes! We made a breakthrough. We fixed a bug in the snapshot using updates. And now, the checker is complete. Okay, so I just realized the most amazing thing if something is full look I can take it out there's no need for redstone <laughs> oh my god that means this whole reset system the bringing back and forth thing, the reset, it will just fill it up all the way. Oh my god. I think we're on to something here. Let's do this. Which means this, this entire system that collects the thing will not be very helpful. So guys, I believe we have it. Oh, 
finally, this has been enormous. I hated working on it, but I love the end result. It's so cool. So, if we just set up this contraption right there, you can see that the whole system is now fully functional. Here's how it works. We have a bunch of cauldrons and we have uh, composters. And we have a check and a flip for empty. That's our output. This machine is massive and this is needlessly lengthened. I don't even know why that is a thing. Regardless, here we are. We let's say we want to enter the combination one, whatever, three, whatever. If we put in check, it won't just work. Our output won't turn on. And now we have these cauldrons. What do we do with them? Well, we turn it back on. And now, if we hit the reset switch, we can watch slowly as the cauldrons fill up to the brim. We can flick off the refill switch and hit on the check again. We can just harvest it back, and now we have fully refilled cauldrons. Refill won't do anything if there is nothing in the cauldron. That works perfectly well. And if we input the code 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, and check, it works. Hey, Let's get right into it. Sorry guys, I just said that for outro purposes. Anyway, hope you have enjoyed today's log uh, Tech Tuesday episode. If you have, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. This has been MeWeFees with the longest build ever. And I am out. I will see you all next time. Peace. This was so long to build.